here's a job for you, changing out a main breaker. And the biggest thing you don't want to do is these two wires, when you disconnect that breaker off of that panel, you want to leave those wires just like they are. And as you can see, by not moving your two wires here, you can get this breaker mounted back into where it's supposed to go. And also, when you're undoing these wires from the screws, and it looks like I'm a lot closer than I am, but I'm not, you don't want to disturb the wire itself because when you put this back in the, in the breaker, if you mess that wire up, it's not going to go back into the hole so that you can tighten those screws up. Alright, so we got a main breaker changed out. No fuss, no muss. And, uh, yeah, we'll just put this panel back together. One thing I do want to say, when you're doing these, if you're brave enough to tackle it, when you put the screws back in, make sure you're getting all these screws in. This panel, it's got at least, at, I would say at least eight screws to hold this panel in, but somebody only put two of them back. This main panel right here, there are zero screws on it. Luckily, there's a padlock at the bottom to hold it in place. But if you take eight screws out, you make sure you put eight screws back in. All right, so we're gonna put the panel back on and this job's complete. And the last thing you wanna do when you finish up a job is to turn around and look back. Make sure you got all your stuff like the multi-cutter, and make sure that you've picked up all your trash. Don't leave anything behind. And we got another happy camper that's got full power in their apartment. So there you go. I'll show you what I have to deal with on these main breakers when, when you can't get one of your two-aught wires to unscrew from the the side of the breaker if that screw is is corroded and messed up like that one what i do let me turn this around is we get a multi-cutter tool and you see that straight line off of where the wire goes we get a multi-cutting tool and cut that metal terminal there where the wire goes in just enough to where it goes through, but we don't want to damage the wire, but just enough to where it, it cuts it. And then I can get a screwdriver in there and spread it open so that the wire comes out. Once that wire comes out, it's undisturbed. It's, it's not, you don't want to booger up the, the wires because they've got to go back into the new breaker the same way. And if you get them spread apart in any kind of way, they're gonna fight you forever. So just be careful when you pull the, the wires out of the old breaker that you're not twisting or fraying that wire. And that way it's gonna slip right back into the new breaker. It's, chances are it's gonna go right back in the same spot where when you tighten the screw on that wire, it actually will tighten the wire in the same spot that the old breaker was at. So everything works out. So be very careful with that. Don't disturb the curve of the wire. Don't disturb the ends of the wire where they get frayed open so that that way everything goes back in simple. This is Dan Giles. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.